Crip Gok is one of the UK's deadliest hikes. Each year, this rugged ridge of exposed rock claims the lives of hikers attempting the most challenging route to the peak of Snowdon, Wales's highest mountain. Attempting the Grade 1 scramble sees hikers taking on strong crosswinds over a 900 meter high knife edge, where even a small slip over the loose, rocky terrain can prove fatal. Completely oblivious to all of this, We woke up in our cosy little camper, looking forward to a leisurely Sunday stroll up Snowdon. We sorted out the essentials, packed our bags, and got ready to set off. After an early start to avoid any traffic on the route, we were pleased to have the first part of the hike completely to ourselves. Now if you're interested in coming to Mount Snowdon and doing the Crib Gok hike or maybe one of the other more traditional routes up Snowdon the first thing you might be interested in is the parking and as always in Snowdonia you don't have a lot of options <laughs> in fact as far as I'm aware you've got two options you need to park where we parked which is a lay-by at the side of the main road it costs four pounds for the day and it leaves you with a 20 minute walk to the base of Snowdon where the real hike begins Alternatively, if one of your hobbies includes being robbed, you can pay £18 and park at the main car park just directly at the base, or £25 if you think your hike is going to take more than 8 hours, which depending on how much you're sightseeing at the top, it's quite likely. It wasn't long before a leisurely morning walk started to look a bit more, well, challenging. Okay, so I think this is our first sign of how sketchy this hike gets. Yep. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but if you can see how small the people are and then how steep that gets, <laughs> that is very much on your hands and knees. Yeah. Uh, and very, very steep, I think, all the way down. We'll see how bad it looks when we get up there, but from here it's starting to look pretty sketchy. <laughs> Bring it on, baby! <laughs> Apparently Mountain Rescue get over 200 calls every year to rescue hikers trying to summit Snowdon and warn that Crib Gok is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by novices. So it's a good thing we were taking this seriously. It's, it's kind of sketch. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but then like one slip and you could die. <laughs> <laughs> Just before the ridge, we stopped for breakfast and enjoyed one of the many stunning views of Snowdonia. baby. So we are officially rock climbing. <laughs> this must be the scramble part and yeah. yeah I think we need two hands for this part. Yeah we read online from someone that this is kind of the most or the closest you can get to rock, rock climbing but without a harness or yeah. like you're kind of yeah. pushing the boundary a bit there and I think that is <laughs> at least what this part feels like. <laughs> I'm not really sure if we're going to be able to film this next bit because I think we need two hands. Yeah, I think we need to put our camera away, but... Um, yeah. But, hell of a view. Wow. We'll be going swimming in there later. So we'll stick around for that part. <laughs> Crip 
Gribkloch translates to Red Ridge because of the rusty red coloured rock which makes up most of the ridge. Do you think of this then, babe? Harder than the previous route up Snowdonia we did a few years ago? <laughs> no, it's not as hard on the lungs, just sketchier. Yeah. The other one was a bit more like of a workout. But well, we're not there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> We continued up onto the knife edge and were immediately greeted with a sharp shock of reality. The wind was significantly stronger on the exposed ridge and unpredictable gusts in either direction threatened to throw you off balance with no warning. The lack of predetermined path also made things difficult and it was slow progress over the jagged rock. We had heard that the year before a hiker dubbed himself the luckiest man alive after plunging over the side of Crib Goch and somehow surviving a 70 meter fall with minimal injuries. As we got closer to Snowdon, the rocky peaks got bigger and the mountains started to look almost otherworldly. it most of the way across the ridge hike, the crib gawk hike. Um, it was pretty sketchy, yeah, as yeah. it was described, um, but it was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Very windy. I know, we found a little break here behind this rock yeah. to catch our breath from the wind because <laughs> it's just been blowing up our nose and our ears for like two hours straight. Yeah. It's so nice to get some peace. Yeah. Definitely a sketchy one, not one for your kids, not one for your granny. Definitely not one for not. your dog, unless no. your dog can climb rocks. It looks like something out of a foreign planet. It's like, look at that, it looks like Mars or... Yeah, it does. It's like insane. And you're just literally... That was, there was no path there. We were just hiking, right over the climbing, top. scrambling over the top. Yeah. Definitely the most interesting way to get up to Mount Snowdon. Um, give you a full review of what we think at the end though. Okay, so we've made it to the top of Mount Snowden. Yep. Well, technically the top is just up there, but one, it's just crammed with tourists looking to get full and it's also really, really, really windy, so you can't really hear anything anyway. Yep. But for all intents and purposes, we're at the top of Mount Snowdon. We made it up the hardest route, uh, Crib Gok. Crib Gok, so yeah. What was your verdict, babe? Was uh, it difficult? It was difficult, but I wouldn't say more difficult than I was expecting. I was no. kind of what I expected it to be. It was difficult. It definitely wasn't a place for children or elderly people or people that aren't capable of, you know, scrambling over yeah. steep rocks and yeah. stuff like that. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And I would recommend it if, uh, yeah. If you fancy a more adventurous yeah. route to the top. Yeah. 
I thought it was very difficult but in a different way. It was more like technical and yeah. like sketchy but I would say the main route is actually a lot harder on your lungs and on your legs. <laughs> if you really want to feel the burn you take the normal route but that was more like technically challenging as opposed yeah, to for sure. fitness. Yeah. <laughs> right, the day is not over yet. Nope. In fact, I think it's only like 11 o'clock in the morning since we left yeah, at 5. Yeah, it's 11. <laughs> we got up at 5. Uh, we have a full day still ahead of us. Yeah. Now, there is a very <laughs> kind of semi-inviting lake down here somewhere. Yep. Uh, there, I don't know if... yeah. Abby has been badgering me all day about going in for a swim, so we'll see if she still feels that way. I'm going in for a swim, I'm <laughs> telling you. Next well, clip will be me in there. Right, we'll hold you to it. Stuff. Like I said, I've still got the rest of the day, so maybe a secret infinity pool next, who knows? Yeah, we don't know what we're going to get up to today, but we'll uh, see how it goes. bring you along. So next clip to. in the water. Feet cool? are absolutely dying. <laughs> I know. Legs are shaking. <laughs> we have made it though. Ah. Right, there you go babe, oh, and you get... How cold is it babe? Oh, cold. Oh, you're not joking, it's cold. <laughs> it's colder than you expect when it's so hot inside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The water was freezing and the early morning crowds making their way up the traditional route looked at us like we were crazy. There you go babe, how was your wild swim? Oh my god, it was so good. I can see my feet are really wild swimming, it's like just the nicest feeling ever. Yes, it's cold, but like when you get out, it feels so good. So good. Yeah, it was cold though. Bloody freezing. Next week. We track down some of Snowdonia's best kept secrets, <laughs> explore abandoned slate mines, this is crazy, and discover North Wales's very own Magaluf. 